these are incredibly spectacular tombs. This one belonged to a doctor actually and it's protected by Humbaba in the middle and it's written that whoever tries to enter the tomb, reuse it, change it, steal it, has to pay 500 pieces of gold to the local governor and 500 pieces of gold to the priest. So the curse is taxes. Sounds like Europe. <laughs> and on this side, you have a tomb that is, uh, I believe this is called the Mountain of the Girls, because it's full of women's uh, graves. If I'm not mistaken, more than 50. It's really beautiful. And in the center, it's protected by the Medusa. So, right in the middle, you see the eagle on top of the cornice of the triangle. You will see the eagle, which is named Shara, the goddess Shara. They believed in the afterlife, so there are steps to heaven at the very top. And underneath the eagle, there is a figure right in the middle that looks white, and that's the Medusa. So you've got Shara, there's also water pots on the left and on the right to show that the Nabataeans were water geniuses. And you've got symbols of the afterlife. It's absolutely breathtaking. And I just love, love, love being here. I mean, what a place. And I've been to Petra, but I find that Hegra is somewhat more special. Maybe because there are less tourists. It has been Disneyfied just yet. So here are the wonderful tombs, the context, the wonderful mountains. And we are now heading back. On our next video, we will be able to enter one of the tombs because there was no threat of paying taxes, unlike this one. Also notice that there was a mix of styles from architecture from Egypt, Greek notoriously, many, 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 many different types of aesthetic influences.